Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Claire So in this video, we're going to do a showdown. Claire's versus Cosmorex. Which brand is better? They're both very minimalist, ingredients-focused brands that are relatively affordable in Korea. And so I feel like there's sort of a battle, like are you on Team Claire's or are you on Team Cosrx? In this video, we're going to be taking six Claire's products and six Cosrx products, and we're going to be doing a showdown to find out which product is better in each of those categories. Let me know in the comments which brand you prefer and let's go find out which brand is the winner. First up, we have Claire's Rich Moist Foaming Cleanser versus the COSRX Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. The Claire's cleanser is twice as expensive as the COSRX one. Claire's says that this cleanser uses an amino acid called sodium lauryl sarcosinate instead of chemical detergents such as sodium lauryl sulfate. Amino acids are the main component of protein and they are naturally found in the human body. This also contains hyaluronic acid and ceramide which provide hydration for softer skin. And this soap also contains licorice root extract, which is supposed to prevent skin hyperpigmentation and fade existing hyperpigmentation. But I think it's a nice foaming cleanser. A lot of people complain that it's drying and it has a very strong smell. And it does have a very strong tea tree oil scent, but personally, I haven't found it to be too drying. The COSRX Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser was probably the first cleanser that I fell in love with and I will continue to stand by this product. This is my absolute favorite gel cleanser and I think it's a great second step cleanser. So this is considered a low pH cleanser and the pH scale goes from 0 which is very acidic to 14 which is very alkaline and 7 is considered neutral. We do want some alkalinity in our cleansers because it does a better job of dissolving dirt and it more effectively cleanses our skin skin but if it's too alkaline then it can be really drying and leave your skin feeling tight the Costarex cleanser has a low pH of 5 and our skin's natural pH level is about 4.7 so using a low pH is good because it's very mild and it doesn't strip your skin's acid mantle but you have to balance that out with the cleansing power for the cleanser category I'm gonna have to go with the Costarex good morning gel cleanser that's just my tried and true favorite cleanser i don't have anything against the claris cleanser but i prefer the gel cleanser next we have toners and for cosrx i'm going to try out the hydrium watery toner and for claris the subtle preparation toner you'll have to excuse my claris bottle this is just a sample size i did not purchase the full size toner for this the Claire's toner is a touch more expensive, only two cents more per milliliter. The ingredients list on this toner is quite long, but some of the ingredients that stand out to me are sodium hyaluronate, which is very hydrating, centella asiatica extract, which is very soothing and calming, and licorice root extract, which has a brightening effect. I actually purchased the full size of this toner maybe a couple of years ago, and I thought it was kind of whatever. But after trying out the sample again, I'm actually really liking the toner. It's really thick and very hydrating. I really like toners that have this texture. It's really thick and bouncy and it doesn't run off your skin when you pour it on. And the texture kind of reminds me of the Isentree Hyaluronic Acid Toner, which is one of my favorite toners on the market. The toner is lightly scented and it doesn't bother me, but if you don't like the smell, they also have an unscented version. On the Cosrx side, I have the Hydrium Watery Toner, and this only contains 13 ingredients. B5, which is also known as Panthenol, is the key ingredient of this Hydrium line, and it's supposed to have moisturizing, regenerating, and anti-inflammatory effects, and it is suitable to all skin types, according to Cosrx. As the name indicates, this is a really watery toner, so if you put it on your skin, it'll run off quite easily. So it's really thin and you need quite a few layers to get good hydration in my opinion. On the plus side, it's really light and it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky afterwards like a lot of hyaluronic acid toners do. But it's so runny and watery that it's kind of hard to apply. I feel like this would have been much better if it was a mist or in some sort of a spray bottle. So I'm actually going to go with the Claris toner on this because I think that the consistency is much better and easier to use. Next, I'm going to do serums or ampules and for Claris I have the Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop and for Cosrx the Propolis Light Ampule. The Propolis Light Ampule is cheaper. It contains 83% 
black bee propolis extract. Bees produce a compound called propolis from the sap on trees, and when they combine the sap with their own discharge and beeswax, they create a sticky product that's used as a coating to build their hives. This is propolis. Propolis contains antioxidants and it's said to have antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties. This serum is really hydrating, but it does leave a sticky texture on your skin. I really like the packaging on this one though, and I like how it's unscented. And it does leave my skin feeling a little bit sticky, but also quite hydrated and a little bit glowy. Do you guys see how it sticks to my finger and pulls up? I really like skincare products that have a texture like this. So even though it leaves me feeling sticky, I don't mind it. The Midnight Blue Serum is really different. It's pretty much the opposite of the Cosrx one. For one thing, it's blue and it's also super watery. I actually apply it directly to my face with one hand and then I use the other hand to capture the runoff. This is an anti-aging serum that you're supposed to use at night and according to Claris, it's supposed to reduce fine lines and wrinkles using a dual peptide formula. The serum is blue because it contains guaiazoline, which is a derivative of chamomile oil. Claris also makes a midnight blue cream and a sheet mask and I actually really like this line. I'm not going to pick a winner in this category because I think that these are really different products and they're really complementary. Next, I'm going to be comparing Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drop to the COTSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Per milliliter, the Snail Mucin Essence is less than half the price of the Fundamental Watery Oil Drop, but one is an essence and one is a serum. This Snail Mucin Essence is probably my holy grail skincare product. I really love it. It only contains 12 ingredients and most of that is snail secretion filtrate. That's the number one ingredient if you look on the back of the package. And this is my all-time favorite snail product. The texture of this product is really slimy and goopy, but I really love it. Also, it's unscented and it just leaves your skin feeling so hydrated and bouncy afterwards. Next we have the Fundamental Watery Oil Drop by Claire's. This is such a strange name, right? Watery Oil? It's a serum, but it comes in such a large bottle. It's such a good bang for your buck. This contains Jeju green tea water, fermented extracts, and peptides, and Claire says that this provides regeneration and antioxidation. It does have quite an oily texture, but it absorbs really nicely into your skin, and it leaves you with a glowy feeling. I think that this is a great wintertime product, but it might feel a little bit heavy in the summer. I do like this Dear Claire's product, however, nothing can really compete with my Cosrx Snail Mucin Essence, so I'm going to have to go with Cosrx on this one. Next up is the Rich Moist Soothing Cream by Dear Claire's and the Balancium Ceramide Cream by Cosrx. The Cosrx one is slightly cheaper. The Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream definitely lives up to its name. It's very heavy and very rich. It contains beta-glucan, jojoba oil, and ceramides, and it's supposed to work to strengthen your skin barrier, according to Claire's. It feels really hydrating, but the only thing is that it leaves your skin feeling kind of oily, and some people like that, especially for nighttime, because it really gives you the sense of sealing everything into your skin and preventing all of those toners and serums from evaporating. But personally, I don't really like the oily feeling. The Balancium Ceramide Comfort Cream is also a rich cream, but it doesn't leave an oily finish. It contains ceramides and centella asiatica that help to soothe any irritation on your skin. And I like this because it really sinks into your skin well, and it kind of reminds me of a thicker form of CeraVe lotion. I'm gonna have to go with the Cosrx Balancium Cream on this one because I like the light finish. Next, we have the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence with SPF 50 and the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. And in this category, the Claire's sunscreen is just a touch cheaper. This aloe soothing sun cream has been my go-to sunscreen ever since I discovered it three years ago. I use it, my kids use it, and so does my husband, so we go through tons of bottles of this. Even though this has SPF 50 in it, it feels like you're using a moisturizer and not a sunscreen. It absorbs really well into your skin and it doesn't leave a white cast, and it's also really hydrating. One thing that I noticed about this sunscreen though is if you're wearing it all day and then you rub your skin really hard where the sunscreen is, it'll start to pill up 
and you'll get these little dead skin balls that will come off of your skin and it's kind of weird but if you can refrain from rubbing your face then that doesn't really happen i recently started using the soft airy uv essence and i really like it for one thing i like that it comes in a much larger bottle than the costa rex one because when you're done with the sunscreen bottle there's a lot of waste inside so it's nice to have it all in a bigger bottle to minimize that waste also, I really like how moisturizing this sunscreen is. It sinks into your skin really nicely. It's very hydrating and it doesn't leave a white cast. This is part of the Freshly Juiced line and it's supposed to have a brightening effect on your skin. So in addition to the sunscreen properties, it also contains niacinamide, beta-glucan, and sea buckthorn oil. And unlike the Cosrx sunscreen, this one doesn't seem to pill up. So I'm gonna declare this one as the winner. And we have a winner, it's Cosrx. But honestly guys, this is so subjective. Everyone's skin type is different and I'm sure that you have your own opinions. So let me know in the comments what you like best. Now I just wanna share a couple of products from both lines that I really like. The first is the Claire's Youthful Glow Sugar Mask. And for Cosrx, I really like the Clear Fit Master Patch, which is an acne patch. I received this sugar scrub for free from Claire's and it has quickly become one of my favorite exfoliators. According to Claire's, this is a low irritating sugar mask enriched with antioxidants from grapefruit and raspberry. Grapefruit extract and kaolin soften your skin texture without irritating it, while shea butter, raspberry oil, and jojoba with rich nutrition leave your skin moisturized after washing it off. It also contains anti-inflammatory calamine to soothe your skin. So you can use this as a 10 minute mask, just spread it all over your face, leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off. Or you can use it as a scrub, which is my favorite way to to use it or you can use it as a makeup cleansing balm but you just have to avoid your eye area i really like the scent of this i really like the color i just feel like this is such a delight to use and it has replaced the skin food black sugar scrub as my sugar scrub of choice it is twice as expensive as the skin food one but it contains a lot of other nourishing ingredients that i think are beneficial for your skin and also the scent and the color just make me smile here are two different acne patches that Cosrx makes. The first is the Acne Pimple Master Patch, and the second is the Clearfit Master Patch. And personally, I prefer the one in the black package, which is the Clearfit Master Patch, because it's really thin, and when you put it on your face, you almost can't tell that you're wearing a pimple patch. But the red one is much thicker. These pimple patches will suck all of the gunk out of your pimple and help it to heal more quickly. Next up, we have the Claire's Mochi BB Cushion, and this one automatically gets points because of the adorable packaging. It also has SPF 40. This only comes in one shade, and personally, I think it's a little bit light for me, but I still use it anyway, and I think it looks pretty natural. This cushion contains Centella Asiatica extract, which is supposed to have calming and soothing properties, and it also contains licorice extract, which is supposed to help with hyperpigmentation. Overall, I really like this cushion, but if you have darker skin tones, then you probably can't use it. These One Step Original Clear Pads are a bestseller by Cosrx, and they're for people with acne-prone skin. They help to exfoliate your skin without drying it out. Cosrx also makes a couple of other toner pads. One of them is the Green Hero Pad, and this one is the One Step Moisture Up Pad. This is for people who have dry skin rather than acne-prone skin, so I actually like this one a lot better. I think it's really hydrating and it feels so luxurious to use. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products for yourself, I have links in the description box below, but keep in mind that those are affiliate links, so I will earn a commission if you purchase through those links. However, you will be supporting my channel and you will help me to continue making videos like this. Thanks so much, and if you wanna see more K-Beauty videos, check out these links here.